you gotta love SNL. They did a sketch about hair loss, which is a physical problem. And then they brought us this sketch with Governor Patterson acting like they care about physical disabilities. The race for governor of New York is heating up with GOP candidate Carl Palladino closing in on Democrat Andrew Cuomo. Here now to comment and authority on governors and heat, the Honorable Judge, the Honorable David Patterson. <laughs> I know, I'm just kidding, Seth. <laughs> Governor, um, how do you feel about the close race now underway for your replacement? Well, New Yorkers are faced with a tough choice, Seth. The Democrat in me wants Cuomo, but the train wreck in me identifies with Paladino. <laughs> Paladino or Cuomo, it's like ordering at the Olive Garden. No matter what you get, it's gonna be a greasy mess. <laughs> Many conservatives upstate think Palladino could be a real reformer as he's not a political insider, but rather a businessman from Buffalo. A businessman from Buffalo? Which business is he in? Hunting or gathering? <laughs> Seriously, going to upstate New York is like walking through a Stephen King novel. You get this feeling like, yeah, all these people might have killed someone together. <laughs> Paladino does seem like a wild card. It was reported that he sent people emails that included videos of bestiality. It's terrible, Seth. I mean, if I wanted to watch a bunch of animals having sex, I would go to prom night in New Jersey. <laughs> Governor, let's leave New Jersey out of this. That's what the Constitution should have said. <laughs> Getting back to the election, do you have any advice for the next governor? I would tell the next governor that it's important to stay the course, even if everyone around him is making noise. I don't stop the car every time I hear someone knock or honk. True, when the honks get loud enough, I know it's time to swerve. But that doesn't stop me from getting behind the wheel. Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> has gone on long enough. Governor Patterson. That's right, Seth. The real deal. Not some cheap imitation. Just classic Patterson. <laughs> Say, I see you're still sporting the beard. Uh, yes, I am. Oh, I shaved that off a year ago. Are you blind? <laughs> Touche. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to come here tonight before my time as governor of the great state of New York ends and to tell you that working in Albany is just like watching Saturday Night Live. There are a lot of characters, it's funny for 10 minutes, and then you just want it to be over. <laughs> Can we apologize if we upset you. It's okay. It happens. I upset people all the time. It's kind of my thing. <laughs> but while I have a good sense of humor, jokes that degrade people for, solely for the fact that they have disabilities are sophomoric and stupid. I have a disability, but for the last two and a half years, I seem to be one of the few people in the country who can see what we need to do. <laughs> It's as if you think it impedes someone from being governor. As governor, I've kept the budget in balance, cut $42 billion of deficit. We have not been passing out any IOUs. I'm blind, I'm governor, and I'm still alive. Now, how much better do you want me to be? Well, governor, we are really sorry. Sorry? You should be sorry. You have poked so much fun at me for being governor, that I forgot that I was black. <laughs> Governor, I think I speak for everyone here that we'll be more respectful of the blind. Well, I certainly hope so. Because blind Americans are inc incredibly capable and we also rely on our other senses as well. So it's true that your other senses are heightened? Oh, absolutely. 
For instance, just by my sense of smell, I can tell that there are 15 people in this audience from New Jersey. <laughs> That's a good one, Governor. Thank you, Governor. <laughs> the Honorable David Patterson, everybody! And finally, on a serious note, um, NBC Universal CEO Jeff Zucker announced this week that he'll be stepping down after Comcast assumes control of the company this winter. And I just wanted to take a chance to express my... <laughs> Wow, I sure would like to know why SNL finally had to act like it cared about disabilities.